So we are in Boeing 777-300ER. This is L5 door. Then today we will be replacing the reservoir assembly. This is gas reservoir for E-Pass system, emergency power assist system. So let me give you this brief introduction. So this is the door. This is the lever for opening closing. This is the lever for arming the E-Pass system and disarming it. And this is the power pack which will be having 9 volt, 2 9 volt batteries which will be powering that E-Pass system and triggering this reservoir, okay? So this battery will be replaced uh, when the car schedule card comes. This arm disarm switch, right now it is in disarm for arming you have to reach it over here and you can see the green light, okay? So this is disarm. This switch is disarm now, okay? So when uh, the lever is armed and this is also armed then we open the lever for the door when we bring it in fully open position this will trigger the power pack the power pack will give supply to the reservoir and reservoir will really there is a sweep over here the explosive squeeze so when uh, it is triggered the sweep will discharge the, uh, this charged gas into this line and this line is connected to the same type of actuator behind this which will assist in opening the door. It will release the door outside. So right now we are replacing this with a wire. So make sure that this lever is in disarm position. Make sure the door is closed fully. Make sure this power pack is in disarm position. There is no green light blinking. Then we will disconnect the connector. Now this is the PSDS item. Warning you can see over here. Electrostatic discharge sensitive clip. This is also called EED. Electrostatic explosive device. Because there is a little explosive inside this. Which will puncture the diaphragm and the gas will be released in the slime. So we'll uh, just take care of all ESDS precaution. We'll wear the strap before and we'll ground ourselves to the aircraft structure. So that there is no electric, uh, uh, static electricity. We'll disconnect. And there is a cap over here for covering this uh, reservoir so that nobody accidentally touched the pin so we remove this and we put over here then uh, they will remove this line which is going to the actuator then there is two mounting uh, through the wire and there is a clamp this has to be opened and the reservoir will be out okay and here you can see the date of manufacturing and there is a dial which has to be in green band when we are installing the new reservoir assembly Thank you. 